Hey everyone, today I'm making another video on basically just reading your comments. And the last time I did this, uh, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I thought I'd, you know, make another one instead of making it into a vlog, because I don't feel like putting my room all cleaned up in the background, and feel like putting clothes on. Well, I have clothes on, I just, I don't look, I don't look pretty. You don't need to look at me when I'm not looking pretty. But anyway, um, I thought I'd make a video where I just read your comments again, and if you guys would like any comments to be read in my next video where I read your comments, uh, let me know. Right now, I'm just having Monster of the World uh, footage be played in the background because I have an abundance of this stuff. So I thought <laughs> probably should use some of it um, while I can because the beta is coming back in the 22nd, so I can just record even more. So here we go. You guys can watch me, me and the guys play while I read your comments. And let's go. By the way, again, if you guys want me to read any of your comments in the next video, um, I'm picking them from random. But if you guys want specific uh, specific things to be read. Let me know. Just say, read this in your next comment video. And in any of my videos, just, I don't care which one they are, just let me know. Anyway, let's get started. So this first comment comes from my five monsters that I want to see in Monsters of the World video. It comes from, oh my god, <laughs> Okichi Uma. I'm, I, I'm, I, pr I, I probably destroyed that pronunciation. I am sorry. Um, I'm not Japanese though, so sorry about that. I have a thing, <laughs> I have a thing for monkeys too, don't worry. He got that creepy emoji face. <laughs> oh, I love this comment so much. Um, just to put some more context behind this. He's talking about the fact that I love the Rajong and I also love the uh, Blango, which is another monkey type monster from Monster Hunter. And I, I just, I genuinely like um, ape type monsters in games. So that's one. Of the, that's why there's so many of them in my top favorite monsters, and like even in like Pokemon, my favorite mon monster, my favorite Pokemon is uh, what's it called Infer Infernape, and all the other ones are all like gorilla or monkey type Pokemon that I love too. So like it's it's in every genre or like it's just in every every form of entertainment. I love gorillas and monkeys. It's one of those things. Also, I love wolves too. So it's like one of those things I really like seeing in. Uh, in media, just wolves, monkeys, and stuff like that. I don't know why. I just, I just do. I love them so much. The next one comes from the same video. Prepared set 92. You haven't played many Monster Hunter games, have you? Um, I've only played. Well, I played a. I played a lot of them. I just never have. I haven't beat all of them. So I don't like. If I don't know that much about the game itself, I won't talk about that in our channel very much. So, for example, I've played uh, a few 3DS Monster Hunter games, but I've never played them to a big enough extent where I have enough knowledge about it. So I, I played like um, some stuff in college when my friends let me play uh, Office 3DS. I got to play uh, one of the 3DS, um, you know, Monster Hunter World. Uh, no, Monster Hunter World. One, one of the Monster Hunter games on the 3DS. And I got to use the um, Great Sword in that one. And that's, that's really all the information I got from that game when I got to play it that one time and a few other times I've played it uh, from my other friends. But the games that I have played and beat and gone through all of them and got a lot of the armors for them is Monster Hunter World. Um, well, <laughs> I keep thinking of Monster Hunter World. I want that game back. Damn it. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Um, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, Monster Hunter Try, and I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. That's those are the ones that I went through and beat all the monsters and got all, all, all the, as much information I have from those games. So that's why I only use those as like reference points when I make videos because those are the only ones I've ever actually like flat out beaten. I would love to play all the other Monster Hunter games. I just, I'm, I can't play ones on 3DS just because I have problems seeing the screen because I'm legally blind. I have problems seeing the screen. And I prefer to not have to deal with small, uh, monster, uh, like, small things while I'm trying to avoid them. You know, it's, it's just a pain in the butt for me, personally. Um, I'm probably gonna be getting a Switch next year, so I'll probably be trying to play Monster Hunter, uh, Double, uh, I think it's called Double X or some, something like that. The, the next Monster game coming out for Switch. I'll probably be playing that one, too, along with World at the same time. And, uh, that, that's happening, like, next year. Though. When I get more money, I can get Switch and play it. And, yeah, that's, that's happening much later on. But yeah, I've only played I've only played completely through three to four Monster Hunter games. I did play Freedom and Freedom Unite. They're the same thing essentially, but I just I have both I played both of them. This next comment comes from my uh, Monster Hunter World World Channel intro and beta. God damn, why did I make that title so long? The one where I updated the Monster Hunter World intro and talked about the release of the Monster Hunter beta, which by the way is the 22nd of December. Uh, this comment came from Robbie the Sheep. I love your name. Great. The beta is back. Um, is back. I will preload any December games you're buying. 
Um, I actually looked this up, and there's not really any games coming out in December that I'm interested in. I know that in January, Dissidia and, Dis and you know, Monster of the World and all that stuff's coming out in January, but nothing really in December I'm all that interested in. Um, yeah, I'm not really interested in December's release dates so far, but I'll let you know if anything changes. Uh, this, ne this next comment comes from my Monster of the World Beta Edgenaf Full Hunt video, and it comes from 40 Splish Splash. 15 seconds into the video, and you're you're already having a quarrel. I know, Nibbles bitch. Haha. Ha, ha, um. Was um. Haha. Ha, was fun to watch you guys playing Monster Hunter Beta, uh, bro. What is your overall impressions? My overall impressions of the beta are very very positive. I really enjoy the beta, and I really want to play more of it. That's why I can't wait for the beta to come back in the 22nd. However, I do see some negative flaws because I'm, I'm purposely looking out for negative things because if, if I really like something, I, I look out, go out and look for them. But the hitboxes in Monster Hunter, uh, the Monster Hunter beta are really obnoxious. Um, not all of them, just the majority of them, like, with, no, the majority of them. Not all of them, but stuff like the Ajanaf, certain certain attacks with the Ajanaf where he's grinding his fist against the ground. Or Barov's hitbox where he's charging sometimes can, like, hit you and not really all that close to you. It's it's kind of weird. Uh, it's it's small things. Like really, the only negatives I have are very nitpicky and tiny. They're not that that big and not that bad. Um, I really enjoy it. Some people might have trouble finding their way around the ancient forest when it comes to going into the tree, the big ass tree in the middle of the ancient forest. Personally, I love it because it feels like very real. Because it's so interwoven and confusing it's i love it but some people are gonna hate it just because you can get lost in that ancient forest really easily but i i really enjoy it so far and i cannot wait for the re for the release and this next comic comes again from my uh my my five favorite monsters that i want to see monster the world video um the yeah uh, the the devil joe will won't be in the in monster the world you forgot about Ajanaf. You have an inside information that you know there won't be in the world? Um, also the guy's name is the Dagger Floof. The Dagger Floof? The Dagger Floof. I like your name. <laughs> it won't be in world and... I, I didn't forget about Ajanaf. I just think that Diablo and Ajanaf fighting would be hilarious. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I'm not Diablo, so... Uh, Devil Joe and uh, Ajanaf fighting would be hilarious. And I, I do think that'd be freaking like a really cool fight. Even though I'm pretty sure Devil Joe would like curve stomp him, but... It's one of those things where I want to see more monsters in the game. I do understand what he's saying because there's essentially two giant T-Rexes walking around, kind of a little too similar. Uh, but I still think it'd be pretty cool to watch a Devil Joe and Ajinaf interact. Okay, this next comment comes from Bloodborne, The Lost Hunter, a Machinima, episode 4. And by the way, uh, I'm going to try to continue the series, but until Noberto either comes here to record... His lines, it's probably not happening because he, he was supposed to, he's, he's supposed to be a big, a big part in the next episode, but Nibiru kind of fucked up when he broke his PC. But anyway, this comment comes from Ginog, oh my god, your name, Jorkekorster, blaga 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 flaka flaka flame, okay, so, here's his name, <laughs> I'm not reading that, I'm determined to watch this series to the end because it's fucking awesome, from perverted, <laughs> German to the horny doll. Well, thank you very much. I do want to get back doing. I really do. I have a lot of fun uh, voice acting certain parts of the of it. Um, for anyone that's curious, it is half a machinima, half a let's play. I do have ha I have parts where I am recording my uh, lines, and then there's other parts where I'll be playing the game and just recording my lines while I'm doing the game. So I'll have like real in real life kind of reactions to the game, and I really want to finish it. But right now. Due to the fact that Nerberto, like I said before, broke his PC and he can't get a ride to my house very easily because we live at one town away from each other. And he doesn't have a car and his parents are always making him do stuff with that around the house. He can't really uh, get out of it all that much. He kind of is stuck in his house a lot of the time and he can't record because, you know, he broke his PC. So that's one of the reasons we haven't made a, a Lost Hunter in a while. It's not because I lost interest in it. I really want to make it. I even... Uh, wrote up a couple scripts from it uh, after everything went down and I'm kind of just sad because I really want to make more but we gotta wait until gets his PC back and by that time I don't know if anyone's gonna be have any more interest in it I'm, I'll, tr I'll probably if, if he doesn't get his PC back up and running again what I'm gonna do is probably get two Lost Hunter videos out 
see how they do. If they don't do well, I will probably move on to something else. But we'll see. I enjoyed making them, and I want to keep trying it. It's another. It's also just another good way for me to stretch my editing um, muscles, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, this has been my comments reading video. I've been recording for 20 minutes, apparently. You guys, it's probably gonna be a lot shorter for you guys because I edit all of my fucking awful fuck ups out. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to fucking up people's comments, I will try to make the next one a little longer just because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a lot shorter than 20 minutes. But yeah, if you guys have any comments you want me to read specifically, let me know in the comments down below. Like, say, ah, oh, read this comment while, you know, putting a comment. I don't know. <laughs> in any of my videos, you don't have to, like, focus on this one specifically. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And, and we've been growing a lot last couple weeks And I honestly gotta say thank you very very much. You guys are awesome We Honestly, I don't know. I just, just want to say thank you very much I, I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me And I cannot wait for Monster of the World because I know a lot of you are really hyped for Monster of the World And it's gonna be a lot of fun making videos from that and I'm gonna try to get My best foot forward with that when it comes to editing and getting Nobrito and Joy to do stuff uh, I have to get Nobrito another way to record audio just because I want to make his audio sound a little cleaner. And uh, I'll be doing a few things for the for Monster of the World. At least I'm going to try to. It might be a bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm going to try it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Also, check out our you know Instagram and Patreon and all that stuff in the description down below. Help us out and follow us and stuff. We love you. Bye. I'm going to go edit this now and then go to work. Bye!